learning that is confident, exciting, stimulating, collaborative, challenging, and embraces emerging technologies and the network of the 26 schools that make up the Girls' Day School Trust. From 3 to 18, students are encouraged to embrace technology in a range of settings with confidence, enthusiasm and creativity, while staying safe. E-safety is incredibly important to us. Students have an array of learning facilities from which they can choose. For example, sharing project information via video conferencing and talking to overseas schools via Skype using an online survey to analyse how safe students feel in school, capturing media for presenting information, and using specialist software in preparation for higher education and employment. Learning using all the technologies is also great fun. If children are having fun, they will learn more. As ICT Development Manager, I have an overview of ICT in the school from uh, nursery through to year 13. It's an exciting journey as new technologies emerge and students grow in their e-confidence. Parents are engaged in the ICT journey through internet safety training, Sims Learning Gateway and the school portal. This engagement will increase further as more information about each child becomes available to parents through Sims Learning Gateway and access to greater learning materials is available through the school portal. Gears enter Howells with a variety of ICT experiences, so it's essential that they all have access to ICT in order to become confident e-users. The interactive whiteboards bring learning to life for the very youngest students. Here we can see girls getting used to counting coins. This dynamic learning environment is stimulating and girls can gain confidence in touching the equipment. Girls are introduced early on to flip cameras and editing their own films. In using the cameras outdoors, the girls have a permanent record of what they saw and can develop this in their writing, number work and science research. We went outside to try and find out signs of spring with flip cameras. We made a short movie with all the, thing, the photos we took. We used it to help us with our writing so we could write about signs of spring. As a primary staff, each year advances in technology means that our planning and teaching of use of ICT has to evolve. The objectives taught and the skills of the girls have to be updated frequently. As part of the GDST, we have annual ICT coordinator meetings and a collaborative area on the staff portal to ensure we're up to date with the latest developments. In Key Stage 2, we teach a weekly lesson in our ICT suite, introducing a focus skill. Back in the classrooms, opportunities are created to allow the application of these skills across all subjects of the curriculum, using the class set of wireless laptops to reinforce the skills. Year 5 also write a blog when they are away on their residential visit to Plymouth to keep the parents informed of their progress. The Trust Portal has been used by Year 5 and 6 pupils in school and at home for the last year, and we have recently introduced it to Year 4. The girls enjoy using this to access documents and links used during lessons as a method of communication with friends, to complete questionnaires and to read homework, spellings and newsletters. We can go onto the blog or the notice board and if you go onto the blog you can, you can say to Miss Haig, to our, our teacher, you can say to her that um, um, we need some help for our homework and then she'll, she'll help us. The people who wanted to press publish all the people who press publish and then she would say approve and then it would come on. So we went on the internet first and just tried to research some bread and um, and then when we went on to the third time we, we were okay because we we seen some bread that looked quite nice like um, my group said it Hawaiian banana bread, it's quite nice. Um, click on there, that says create a post. The value of ICT for me as a head of geography it's not just that they learn to use ICT, it's how the ICT helps them to enhance their geographical learning. So that could be a whole host of areas. Developing their geographical inquiry skills, so they can very quickly ask questions, suggest hypotheses, and, and the software, whatever it happens to be, enables them to reach very quickly to test those, prove them, disprove them, they can change their minds and learning all the time, whether that's through using GIS, geographical information systems, or just some basic um, desktop publishing and so on. Today we've been going outside the school and we've been taking pictures using our PDA of weathering on stones and we need our PDAs so we can examine the pictures after and we can put them on a map later on. 
The PDAs are quite easy to use and it's quite good to use them so when you can save your pictures and then look back on them later on and they're quite fun. You can also record your voice so then you can remember what's going on. One of the concepts really is looking at, at spatial patterns and specialist um, GIS or geographical information systems helps us to, to map layers of information to see, to look for patterns in the real world. So it might be as simple as, as you've already seen or are seeing, going around the school collecting um, patterns of weathering around the school. For me it's ICT in itself, I'm not, um, I don't teach ICT, I want ICT to be used to enhance the geographical learning. That's the fundamental point for me. By Key Stage 4, girls have completed their GCSE in ICT and can implement the skills learning in a range of settings. In design technology, specialist software is used to design and make products and girls particularly enjoy this creativity. In art, again, the use of specialist software for image manipulation and iPads for browsing images quickly enhances this creative environment and is hugely stimulating and realistic for future use. In languages, Skype continues to be used with older students, but there is an expectation now that languages skills are being independently developed. So today we have been using Skype in our German lesson and it's helping us a lot because it's all very creative and we, do, we only have an input to respond to and we don't have to plan it so we're not really pressurised and we can share the German that we've been learning and it will also be useful in the future to Skype our pen friends. Our German is a lot more like how you would generally speak English because it's not scripted so it helps us use it in everyday language. And, and this is not limited to a classroom. Yeah. And also because social networking is becoming bigger through the years, it can help us in the future or if we want to study abroad and Skype our families. And it's fun so our lessons are much more versatile. There are quite a few ways in which we find ICT is really useful with students and teachers uh, to help learning. One of the key ways really is the way in which they communicate with each other. ICT has embedded itself superbly in a really, really powerful way. It's very useful. It's almost sort of um, uh, an integral part of everything students do. They very rarely get through a day where it won't contribute to their teaching and learning. Um, but the, the great thing is that it's natural. It's an instinctive part of their teaching and learning and they enjoy finding new ways in which to take advantage of the facilities available and the packages and also the training that's available to show them how to use them in the best way possible. So yeah, we're really uh, enjoying ICT, benefiting from ICT and I think it will continue to grow in what it offers the students. I'm quite interested in the way that our school communicates with us as parents. Uh, they do give us good information via school comms which comes as either an email to both my own and my wife's email addresses or to either of our mobile phones. School website, I find that very useful. It's uh, quite modern. It does also give you other information and it's quite useful to keep up with what's going on within the school because the photographs are kept quite up to date and it's useful to see what the departments are doing as well. The new uh, information that the school has rolled out is a thing called SLG, which is I believe Sims Learning Gateway. Uh, it currently has information on um, my daughter's reports and on her attendance, and in that sense it's very useful. So if I cannot actually find her report when she brings it home, which is not unusual, I can just log on to Sims Learning Gateway and actually get a copy of her report, and in fact historic reports going back to the last couple of years. Future plans for developing learning at Howells? Well, Embracing emerging technologies relevant to the world in which we live is increasingly important. Along with the increasing use of touchscreens, apps and collaborative tools for learning of all ages, starting with our youngest at three. Use of specialist software and global communication opportunities. Increased parental engagement and equipping students for jobs in the future that we don't even know about yet. All the time we will be looking for new ways of using new technologies. That's what Howells is all about.